Hello everyone, this is Shot. once I'm bringing another CH2 a replay, this is 2v2 on Eidoven Country. We've actually recently gone over this map, I'm actually kind of happy we got this back, it's actually quite nice. It is a larger map for 2v2 games, but overall, pretty enjoy it. Again, nice wide open terrain, pretty good for flanks and whatnot, again, you can't exactly choke point. Yeah, sure, maybe you could do, play some mines here, but there's plenty of ways to come in into this like castle area, so it's not like... Put up one bunker and you block half the map. No, that not the case here. Oh boy, we have guard mortar. Man, we haven't seen that before. Any case, let's see. We have... I'm not even going to pronounce that name. I'm just going to call him Lee. I'm going to call him Lee. Legio, Naked, and Western Front. So, let's double check the ranks real quick. If you want to submit a CH2 replay, do so via my Gmail. Or go to CH2.org slash outcast. Make sure you don't have an AI. I swear. Like, I... And no mods. It, like, okay, I know this is, like, something that's, like, it, you feel like I, I say this, people will probably understand. The only, the only way I will showcase an AI match, if the enemy player or a, the opposite team loses an AI and you somehow combat that. Or if it's the last two minutes, I don't care. But, or in a, you have to do something incredible in that game, like the Firefly action I saw with Herpy. Once again, out of context, doesn't help. Um, but if you, if you, if, if, if the entire enemy team, like, just drops an AI and you win, that's not, like, I, that's not, I don't want to showcase an AI comp stop. I'm just, just showcasing. If your teammate drops and then you are able to, like, combat, like, three people and you have, like, three, three AIs and it's just you and a 44, that's interesting. But, again, most likely it's just the fact the enemy team literally has no idea what they're doing. So, preferably... Unless it's in the last five minutes, don't try to send me AI games. Because I literally had someone who had to send me an hour and a half game, and 30 minutes in, when they're losing, the, the enemy team drops. And I'm like, man, I wonder why you won. I wonder why you won. Any case, on that, I want to thank Legio for submitting this replay. Thank you so very much. Oh, my God. And while we watch that, let's watch a bunch of Volk Squad just get murdered in a corner. Anyway, let's move on from that cheery note. He's here to Soviet player, went in penals, and the American player go in, actually, I really, I really hope, please don't go, please don't go armor company, otherwise this is going to be very similar to the game I literally just did recently. In any case, Vulcan Sturm trying to move in on left. Uh, we do have special operations, so we have nice uh, infantry support weapons, and... Lee went with Jaeger armor, so again, more nice, like, recon abilities, airstrike, and elephant. By the way, I, I feel like people don't know this. There are two types of Stuka bombs. You have the, oh my god, not the Sturms. Oh, not the Sturms. Oh my god. Oh, Legia, why? I was gonna promote, I was gonna promote your YouTube channel, but, um, you know, you know, I, yeah, 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 Woo! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, Legio has a YouTube channel. I highly recommend you go check it out. He does 2H2 and Total War stuff. Uh, but, uh, no, no. He's, and I got, I've seen some of it while I look, before I did this. Actually, pretty good. He's pretty good. So, again, go check him out. He's, but, yeah, even I make mistakes. Again, I've lost units all the time. So, if you see, again, I feel also something. If you see people lose units in this game, that doesn't mean they suck. Everyone makes mistakes. Like, and in this game, you're bound to make mistakes. Western Front didn't. He picked... Oh, my God. Thank you. You pick Heavy Cavalry Company. Thank you. For the love of God, thank you. Um, I, 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 I... Some people might know, but I despise Armor Company. Initially, I thought, hey, you know, it could be good. I, I was tempted by the devil. I thought, you know what? Maybe this isn't so bad. Then I actually played it more, and I realized, oh, no. Unless you're in, like, a close quarters urban environment, this thing sucks. Sucks. I don't mean the armor's useless but uh <clears throat> good mind but uh mostly what you want to do is uh just close quarters so the assault engines work because that's really the pro of that doctrine if you're in a wide oh, wide open territory it's not going to help nice job with the bulk squads firing on, while on cover very good allies trying to take mid with everything they have they have a uh 50 cal machine gun so any armor is gonna have a rough time great ears what are you going uh sorry lee what are you going Lee is going with the all right, all right, getting battle phase one. Close to five minutes, but okay. Um, he has going very heavy in the the uh, infantry department. I guess he because usually you might see people try to rush for a light mechanized building or something. So a little bit curious about that. We'll see if he deploys scout cars stuff like that again. 
common rule of thumb, have a, some sort of AT unit by around the 10 minute mark. Because that's when the a allies or axis are more likely to deploy armor. So if you don't, you're pretty much fucking over your team. Hey! Lieutenant versus some grenadiers. Um, I love how the- oh, I make a fighting position while you're there? Okay, cool. Good rifle grenade. Almost killed it. Very close. But at least pushed it back. Meanwhile, wow, okay. Legio's pushing on in. Why'd you go ha? Huh? Did, did you kill the unit? Did, did you kill something over here? I don't see any units dead. Okay. I guess you got him out of cover. Good. Um, that, 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 that's cool. That, that's cool. Did you kill a sniper, maybe? Is that a sniper? Did you kill a sniper? I, I have no idea. But we have guard troops being deployed, so that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad versus infantry. Spe oh my god. Those things are actually pretty damn potent, especially with, combined with penals. And yeah, you're going to have a lot of issues if you deploy light armor. Both squads pulling on back. Penals on standby. Most likely going to capture territory. Right now, resource-wise, allies and axis pretty even right now in terms of fuel. But munition-wise, axis have a small lead, so that could help them out a lot. Nice job, Minesweeper. Good idea. I see a lot of people that just keep running into mines. And it's like, you know if you get a Minesweeper... You don't have to deal with mines anymore. Like, that's, that, that's a thing, right? You know that, right? Anyway, Western Front's coming over here trying to capture some territory. It looks like, though, that this position is pretty fortified. Although, a flank through here would literally fuck him over. But, like I said, some people don't want to take the time to jump over a fence and go around some logs. They just want to go straight down the main path. And uh, I think we all know what happens. Anyway, American Mortar opening fire on the, uh, the building. And a nice Panzer Faust on the scout car. Though, unfortunately, he's not able to kill it because the American troops equipped with bars is just pushing him back. And the mortar's like, uh, yeah, we're not dealing with this anymore. Oh, no, the, the mortar was coming over here. I thought it was going to kill the other thing. Wow, Conscript Squad gets nerfed. And by nerfed, I mean just completely slaughtered. And Volk Squad's still doing pretty well. Though he does have a lot of men. Um, he, he has the smallest army right now. Or at least tied with it with Naked. And to be fair, they're both fighting each other, which is pretty funny. They keep killing each other's units. Uh, Western Front, however, deploying a Stuart. Uh, does Lee have any AT? He does not. He has Panzerfaust for sure. But as long as that Stuart keeps his distance, he can just wreck. He can literally just keep pop-shotting at him and just slowly wear him down. I mean, that's entirely possible. Nice American infantry just going to murder that Pioneer squad. Wow, we're getting a lot of squad wipes early on. Okay. That's, uh... That's a lot of Lee's units that just, uh, had, uh, yeah, it's just lost. Although the American troop might want to capture that. Let's see, MG. Oh, I guess he just saw it, and then he tried to reposition to take out this, uh, lieutenant, but the, the American troop's like, nope, we're going to flank you the other way, and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to run. Will he be able to kill this MG? Probably not. He might be able to kill one or two squad members out of it, though. That, I mean, that's pretty good at getting cost and manpower. It's going to be close. I like how he died here and somehow the guy behind him, like, ran up and picked up the MG. I always find that pretty funny. I'm assuming a rifle grenade we're going to fire at this unit. Come on. Rifle grenade. You know you want to do a rifle. There's a rifle grenade. And because he's grouped together, we can see a squad wipe. We do. Again, the in case you're wondering how that works, if the individual characters are combined in, like, close proximity, there's a higher likelihood of a grenade or some type of special shot coming in to, to kill that will actually kill it. Man, they're trying to crawl away. I'm so sorry, men. I like how they're crawling and there's guys right there like, eh, we can ignore that. That's fine. It's like, yeah, just keep shooting. They're crawling away. It, but it, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. Just keep shooting, man. Oh my god, he just flung. Oh, they're just keeling over. They're just like having strokes. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Stuart coming in to cause some havoc during the infantry. Uh, my guess is some payback, and, and I can see it. Panzer Grenadier is deployed. This can be an AT unit, but right now it doesn't have Panzer Shrek, so... Yeah, i also surprised he moved up the steward that close. Because the simple fact that... Oh, I don't know. You don't want to get... Uh, you don't want to get Panzer Fausted, so you usually get the steward back. American Infantry coming in to help wipe the Grenadiers. Oh my god, they, they're definitely going to get wiped. Oh no, is it... Well, if you focus... Yep, there it goes. I was like, for a second there, I'm like, please don't let me sound stupid. There! I'm not stupid. They did get wiped. And unfortunately, Lee, uh, not doing great. Most of his forces have retreated. And, and he's lost his entire side. And meanwhile, Naked is doing okay. He did, looks like, 
push back Legio, but the thing about it is he doesn't exactly have a lot of troops either. So, yeah, uh, and some of them are pretty damn weak, as you can see with this conscript squad. So most likely a contrary assault from these Volk squads should be enough to push them back, I would say. As long, unless they just are bringing in more forces, but right now, especially while they're building, they're incredibly weak. So this Conscript Squad's going to fall back, and then most likely the Guard Troops are going to have to fall back. Because, again, Volk Squad's in heavy cover. He's going to wipe that, uh, unless he gets a good grenade off, which is entirely likely. Throws it. A uh, little, little high. Oh, actually, no. Oh, no, he throws another one right on there. Good infiltration grenades. Again, they throw multiple, and can do quite a bit of damage. Volk Squad's using their... Patent at close range technology to just wipe that guard troop, which is better at longer range. So, like, heavy cover back here would have been better at shooting them and slowly wearing them down. I mean, sure, the Volk squads did have to retreat and you only have a single squad, but it, I mean, that's a decent push for Legio. At least he got back a little bit of his territory. Meanwhile, Grand Ears, which by the way, there's still the MG42 right there. I would pick it up. Grand Ears with double MG42s? Thumbs up. Seriously, no, thumbs up. Um, but anyway, the American forces are definitely not lying down. They are upgrading their men with, again, additional weaponry. They're getting additional MGs. Uh, the question is, what are you getting in terms of upgrades? So you got both company, you, you got both the company and that. Okay. The only reason I bring that up is because that at least going to kind of, uh, delay armor. If you got both and you did. So that's, that's kind of weird. Um. Let's see, the Soviet player is upgrading to the light the mechanized building. But once again, um, interesting play. I mean, right now, the allies are getting quite a bit of resources compared to the Axis. So, I guess they can kind of hold off on that armor for right now. But it, but if, let's say... Oh my god. Well, no, he's probably not going to get enough command points. Well, he might. Legio might be in a situation where he's saving up for a command panther. Which I think is a bad idea. I think putting the Panzer headquarters down would be a little bit better. That way you can hold your territory. Um, nice mines placement. I, you know it would be a dick move? You find one of the Soviet mines. You place a, you remove that mine. You place a mine on top of his mine. And then that way you could just, you know, trick him to be like, Oh, yeah, that's my mine. I see it. Or, or like, oh, the, you know, my mine there. It's like, okay. In case he's like... In case he's like, oh, I can just go through this area. And then it just blows up. And he's like, wait, why'd my mind blow me up? I know he couldn't necessarily see that. Oh, good infiltration grenade. Just forces them all back. That's why you don't blob. Anyway, uh, Volk Squad, though, got hit with a grenade as well. But they still have another one. And they just push him back. So, very nice. No cover. So, of course, these Volk Squad's going to tear him apart. Uh, although, T-70 could come in and really do some work. Again, most likely be able to pop some shots and neutralize that. Again, allowing the Axis some fuel. Pretty damn good. Allies, though, not capturing their own fuel. Although, to be fair, they're murdering Grenadiers. So, not an entire waste of time. Not an entire waste of time. Are you going to upgrade? You're No, you're, you're not upgrading. Okay. Uh, great. I will give I will give Lexio this. He has a lot of AT. He's prepped and ready to go for that light armor. So... Give credit where credit's due. He's ready for it. And that with that shot, that T-70 is already like a third of health gone, if not more. So, he's going to have to pull back. Wow, nice job destroying that cover. But, um, yeah. So, overall, the Soviets don't have... Their armor can't necessarily just overwhelm him. So, good job on him for having AT and just holding this line. R really, seriously. It's, it's, it's a little bit surprising to see a player with uh, this much AT. But, at least, you know, the get, in recent games I've showcased... But, again, it's good for holding back light armor and should help you hold. Now, if you can combine that with the snare and I'll actually decommission that armor wreck for some fuel, you should be doing pretty damn good. Because that's another five fuel right there. Why, why, why wouldn't you take it? Um, anyway, American forces holding back the Grandier squad. We have a dip. We let you know sending over some men, including some minesweepers. I don't think that will be enough. Well, we have a pack gun now. That could push back the Stuart. Um... We do have a 50 cal machine gun right there. Stuart needs to pull back now. He's pulling back. Should be, at, might be able to get out right. Yep, he is. Cool. If he goes back behind these trees, he should be able to actually heal quite well. Because, wait. Oh, I was going to say, is there something coming down? But yeah, there's plenty of cover right here. He can easily heal. Um, again, you don't need Rashlon. All the American tank crews 
ha I'm sorry, tanks have crews, except for like the special Collins of some variants, because they don't want like, hey, let's decrew the Pershing so you can get another Pershing. No, that, yeah, no, we're not doing that. It's uh, a small issue in the, uh, in the population system of this game. Because again, it's like, you can't just have the, the rear, uh, sorry, the tank crew take up all the points that the, uh, the, the, the tank would, because then it's not fair, because then it's like, why is this, why, why is this tank crew worth 9 CP or some ridiculous number that one of these tanks would be? 10 CP, 16, 12, that, that would be unfair. So, again, I, I, I 100% get that that is a, that is a system that is just a little bit flawed. But at least they did the, like, okay, we just won't give the person a tank crew, even though they technically do, or, like, should. Anyway, T-70 getting overwhelmed by the Verkenwerfers. Good good on him, once again. Uh, MG-43 just holding off, though. Construct Squad could flank. Or just getting heavy cover and open fire, because, again, these guys uh, are no cover, so they're easy to take out. Vogue Squads and Sturmstone moving on in. Gonna overwhelm him. Yeah, he has more than enough manpower. He's just saving up for command. Panther. And the Command Panther is good. It's a Panther with bonuses. But like I said, I feel like he could probably deploy a Panzer Headquarters building and have enough fuel by the time that's deployed. Uh, and he gets enough CP for that Command Panther for him to uh, at least have the benefit of the Panzer Headquarters building. So that way he could get also Dotten or just help lock down territories. But that that's me. That's me. And I think he you know, realizes that because like in two minutes... He'll have enough to get a Panther, even if he were to deploy this. Okay, two and a half. But, yeah, so I think he's, he, uh, yeah, he, he sees that. Good, good, good. MG42 locking down territory. American forces still giving it their all. Uh, Stuart, though, still crippled. Needs to pull back because that pack gun's still there. And if pack gun moves up, it could definitely push back the Stuart. So, he's going to need to, like, reorganize that a little bit. You know, get this thing healed and redeploy. Nice job with the smoke. A lot of people don't use the smoke like this. But goddamn, I see tons of people using the smoke for the a lot of German faction where you can call it a smoke bomb strike or a, like a, a smoke pass or whatever. It's nice to see, again, this smoke being used because then it stops the MG. The troops can move on up. And he can probably throw a grenade. It probably won't kill it because as you can see, they're kind of spread out. But if you have enough American firepower right there, you can murder it. So good on him. It gives enough time to throw off the MG and to neutralize it. Overall, pretty damn good. Anyway, American forces knocking out this mortar. Very nice to see indeed. We got Naked pushing up on the far right, though he's been kind of on the back foot this entire time. He's been really unable to really take this castle area. So Legio's just been king of the castle. Good for him. We do have a T-34, and once again, I, I, I said this on the... I'm going to be very specific. I said this on the previous replay on this map, and I'll say it again. You have a T-34-76 deployed, but you have the ability to get the 85, and you have the fuel to get an 85. Again, comparatively, T-34-76, T-34-85. Yes, it is 40 more fuel, but you have that, and that can take so much more of a pu punishment and actually if you needed to fight a command panther it's not gonna win most likely oh my god oh no oh wow actually expected a little more damage to that volk squad never mind good job holy crap i just noticed the american player is pushing this like this guy's literally next to his base the american player is so ballsy he has his ambulance literally reinforcing guys next to the german base D good job man like seriously holy fuck 50 cal machine gun could probably do a little bit of damage. He needs an AT gun, though. That's what he really needs. Stuart, unfortunately, it's probably fucked from a stook. Probably should decrew. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, he used combined arms. But we have a problem. We have no more vehicles. So, yeah, kind of a waste of that ability. Um, with the ambulance and the Stuart now gone, he's going to have to pull back. He did get a Major, finally. And he probably has enough to get a Jackson. I, I that, like... Jackson would probably be good to hold back armor. His infantry has been doing wonders against Lee. So Lee, even though he has a little bit of energy, has been on the back foot quite a bit. Oh, wow. Good job with the T-34. Just rushing in there. Uh, Command Panther's now here. So, even though that naked... Uh, sorry. 
Wedgie got to pull back because he realized that his flank was possibly could be undone by the Americans hitting it. Um, yeah, with uh, Lee now reinforced by that by uh, this thing specifically, he should be able to push back. And now the American player doesn't have an ambulance. He, okay, he's slowly getting it, and he's getting an AT gun. So never mind. He's getting a little bit, uh, getting all the good things. Plus we have marked target. So oh, I thought it was over the command pad there. No, it's over the stug. Okay, so those, he'll just probably keep the stug back. Did the plane crash? I think the plane crashed somewhere. In any case, American forces launching another assault. We do have rangers, which are incredibly good close range. I like how these, I, again, one positive thing. He's using the lieutenant and stuff like that, good at longer ranges first, so they can kind of do their damage while moving up. And then when they are beaten back, the rangers still are pretty much okay and just rush into that close range unit and eviscerate it. Seriously, rangers can be incredibly powerful with their Thompsons. However, in this, you know, large open map you have to like be creative with how you get them close range now the nice thing is you can also deploy smoke that can also be an effective tactic we have a fighting position here it's pulling him back but the stug is now moving in he really needs to move up the at gun but alas it's uh he probably just deployed he's not gonna be able to do that um does naked have anything he has guard troops but most of the guard troops are fighting the well entrenched legio like once again legio is just chilling and fighting guys who are in no cover, like, no cover while he gets in better cover. So, yeah, just one of those weird situations. He's actually pushing up s actually quite well to the point where he could probably flank the American player and do quite a bit of damage. Any case, uh, once again, you have all this here. The Stugas probably, because of the spawning scope, can see the ambulance. is going to target the ambulance. I would assume it's going to target the ambulance. It has, yeah, it's targeting armor, so, yeah, it's hitting it. Yeah, it's trying to desperately. AT gun, you're close enough. Just fire. Just fire. Damn it! Oh, great. Did you deploy smoke? Did you really use a smoke grenade? I swear to fuck, did you use a smoke grenade? This thing doesn't have smoke. I'm gonna make the assumption you used a smoke grenade from someone. Who used the smoke grenade? Someone used a smoke grenade here. Who did it? Who did it? I don't know who did it. But that was a really fucking stupid move. Sure, you could use drop. You could literally drop smoke on the ambulance. You could have. So, and you have more than enough munitions to do that. So, yeah, the American player keeps losing quite a bit. He can't deploy a Pershing. Like, again, if he would save up manpower, which, by the way, he's losing quite a bit during these assaults. Although, he's killing the MG, which, okay, good for him. He's blobbing, but at least he's killing it. He should be able to. Oh, so close. There we go. Oh, he lost the MG in this building. Okay. Is that the... No, it's just MG34. Anyway, Stug moving on in. Uh, oh my god. Throw a fucking penal charge. Well, he could have. If he was better on the micro, he could have thrown a satchel charge onto that armor and probably crippled it and maybe killed it. Especially if he would have combined that with... Uh... No, he doesn't need munitions for it. Never mind. Oh, instead, let's do a satchel that barely hurts the infantry. That That's a great idea any case, please tell me you got the... Finally, we got an 85! It's been two fucking games on this map. We finally have an 85. Holy crap. It's about time. Anyway, Panther. Moving on in. Guard shoots on standby, though. Again, better at longer ranges. So as long as he just keeps picking them off at that, you know, long range, he should be able to, like, at least go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I don't think he might win against both of them combined, but at least he can, def uh, like, hold the line. Yes, I know he has, like, special tank rifles, but they actually do quite a bit against the infantry. At least, I find the guard troops will do more with those rifles instead of the, uh, it, because of the, especially the DPs, rather than the, um, what's it called? The, the normal penal as well. But in any case, is that mortar? Oh, wow, yep, just mortar fight going on right now. I mean, they're trying to break up the fighting position. I, I get that. And this guy's like, I'll flank him, don't worry. I mean, although, oh, wow, conscripts and guard troops are on standby. Ah, uh, grenade going out. Oh, that by Obosodotin. Oh, it's so close. Woo, decent bottle grenade as well. Obosodotin on the retreat. Get in the building. Maybe not the best idea with the limited window sight lines, but hey, that's just me. So at least the Soviets have... I'm sorry, not Soviets. The Germans have regained their army and position. And specifically Lee. They're doing pretty well in the manpower and fuel department. I mean, you can probably deploy an elephant really soon, which I'm assuming 
is why he just deployed a Stuke and hasn't deployed anything else. Um, which actually might be a waste. Because I'm seeing a lot more infantry real, really causing problems for them than armor. But though, we just saw the Pershing, so I could be eating my own words very soon. But, Command Panther going in to go tag team a T-3045 with some bulk squads. Overall, I think they're going to win. Because, oh wow, no. Oh my god, the Americans over here too. It's a whole allied assault. Folks, squad's trying to move on in. T-34 could go in for the, uh... Oh, they kind of hit their own grenades there. Could have gone for the run over. Could have worked. A um, lot of bazooka fire and stuff like that. And, well, bar fire. Just opening fire. And knocking out the Fricaden Warfare. Pushing back the Panther. Infantry on the retreat. Again, we have Lee now coming over here. But a good grenade could wipe them all out. Uh... A good grenade, wipe them all out. A good grenade, wipe them all out. Okay, wrong wrong side. That was a great bundle grenade. I was talking about the Americans, but okay. T-3045 fighting a, a marked targeted command tank. Although, even with that, still bouncing off the front. That's pretty freaking hilarious. Anyways, uh, wow, he actually used marked target against the Panther. Guard troops are on standby. Definitely don't want to advance too much. Should be able to kill actually some of the Panzergrenadier squads if he focuses. There we go. We yeah. Wow, the Germans are really down right now. They give the Allies this. I mean, because they have a majority of the map for so long, at least, at the very least, at the very least, they're, they're winning capture, uh, you know, point wise. So that's good. Now. Uh, desperately, Legio's trying to push on up here. And he, yes, he was dislodged, but that being said, he was dislodged by a double team. So, that's, that, that does make sense. Again, e even the best players will have trouble if it's just overwhelming numbers of men coming from multiple directions. So, it's, it's better to do a tactical retreat than necessarily waste your bed in a final, like, defensive line. Being like, I'm just gonna be, oh, good bundle grenade. I'm just gonna be, like, persistent and hold the line. It's like, no, you're gonna lose your men. And I've been, I've been known of doing that, being like, I will hold, and I lose all my men, but I'm like, I caused great damage. It's like, yeah, but you could have saved your army. So, you know. Whatever. Any case, uh, once again, pop cap wise, it's actually pretty damn close. The allies taking a small lead. That was a better fight for them, although, again, right now, even though Lee doesn't have a ton of men, he does have a ton of resources. So he can very easily, like, reman a lot of his, uh, dismantled broken army to be a decent fighting force again also give credit to where creds do on this stug which has gotten eight kills like it's doing pretty damn well this game for a single stug instead of it not sp stug spam just a single one doing a pretty damn good job at least holding the line and he's i mean he's killed three vehicles sure they're two ambulances and a steward but whatever anyway american force dropping on in this is the part where you fire that fucking smoke grenade or you just run around and throw a normal grenade. Actually, they're bundled up together, so a grenade might actually do quite a bit of damage. Oh my god. We have a missing item. Okay. Just a glitch in this game that causes a random box to appear. Isn't that cool, guys? And usually, yeah, this random box is on a capture point for whatever reason. But, uh... <laughs> let there be panic. That, that that's, that's funny. Again, just... That's, uh, again, just pretty funny. Any case, a uh, double axis push in mid, trying desperately to hold stop the Americans and Soviets from now from uh, capturing it. We have double Panther, though. Oh, might be able to kill. Oh, kill the guard troop. That sucks. Double T-3045, though, pushing on in. Definitely something the command tank's like, oh, I can't fight that. Uh, now, this guy's rushing on in, firsting a Panther. Not the greatest idea. At least he has some infantry support, but, yeah, that's why. Panzer Faust and... Pershing is better against infantry than armor, but oh, we now have Panzer IV as well. Panther might go in for the flank. He is, and the Stug again. Axis just hanging the allies from all fronts, and good flank by the way, just hitting their rear armor, causing more damage. Again, a lot of times it's how you do these fights, and right now this fight is really well done with the Axis coming in from multiple directions, so the allies can't just rely on front armor. To hold they're being hit from their sides and we see here they've lost both t-34s i don't know why the fuck you ran that thing but okay sure why not anyway uh with both soviet t-3045s down and no al axis losses to speak of that's a huge allied defeat right there now again the allies could 
wait a few, you know, reinforce. But Naked doesn't have an army anymore. He, he lost a lot trying to, like, hold out. So, good flank, by the way, on both Lee and Legio, causing a ton of damage. And while the American player still has an army, yeah, he can't hold back a double. Like, he, can't, he can't take mid. That, it's not going to happen. Especially, especially with a player that still is just burning manpower. Look at this manpower usage he's using on the top right-hand corner. He's just getting Grindier Squad, another Grindier Squad, Pan's Grindier Squad, a Pioneer. He just has so much manpower, he's just using it. Because he's like, why wouldn't I? I now have my army. I can just, you know, we now have them on the back foot. I'll actually get more force to just keep putting on pressure. And that's a really smart tactic. Hell, I don't think the American player has enough men to go over and guard this victory point if the Axis went over and tried to, to, took it, to take it. Nice rifle grenade, I'll give him that. Now, it looks like, though, it looks like actually they were able to kill some German infantry, so they might take it for a split second. Uh, but overall, they need to keep staying on the point if they want to take it and not take it for Cadmore, for which are very low defensive capabilities. That's probably not going to help. Where's that AT gun? All right, fire AT gun with your Sabat rounds. Fire. We have a marked target going down, so it makes it easier to hurt. Well, because you didn't capture it in enough time, they're now going to rush in before it's captured. So, great job on that. Yeah, he's also going to spread out his men so they don't get hit by grenades and knocked out. Yeah, you're going to need a pullback. Luckily, the Pershing is doing quite a bit to the infantry department, so at least it's holding in that regard. And it does have some decent front armor protection, so the pack gun's going to have a hard time penetrating it. But it doesn't matter. The Axis literally have a Stuka bomb if they wanted to use it to, like, help break up this, like, and cause havoc. And that, a displaced allied line could be enough to just slowly walk on in. Meanwhile, he did get another T-34-76 variant. And to be fair, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of anything, so I get why. It gets a flamethrower in a building. Not not the best idea. Yeah, the Soviet player is pretty much broken. The Pershing's trying to move up all in there. But we still have that pack gun kind of watching. We still have all these troops. And, yeah, they could easily Panzerfaust this thing again. It's just one of those situations where it's 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 not looking great. It's not looking great for the uh, act uh, the allies. Also, maybe switch to uh, you know free fire if you want to hit the infantry instead of foot target priority being vehicles. Just hypothetically speaking. Any case, smoke coming down. I don't know why. Maybe to stop the armor from firing, but the armor's coming around the corner. I, I, I don't know. He's dropping more smoke, but we still have Pendragon Radiators in there, so they're just going to hold on. This was close. The Allies could have taken this if they didn't uh, lose so many... If the Soviet player didn't lose a decent chunk of his army and would have probably pulled back with his T-3045s. But alas, we have a situation where... Um... Oh my god. Stay on the point when you're capturing it. Oh, good grenade. It does a little bit of damage. Not a ton, but it does a little bit. I love these Panzer fours and armor just firing on the point. Again, good flank. And once again, Legio's like, I'm just going to come over and take this point because why wouldn't I? So, Pershing opening fire. Actually, damn good shot. I think that was him on the pack. So, good, good play there. Good play. Anyway, uh, so again, battle over mid right now. And they do have some units to guard against a flank over here. And I'm assuming he might be placing some mines. I think. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, is there anything guarding this? Okay, you have a MG. So, yeah, that should stop him from at least uh, just walking on in. They flank it. Of course, you smoke. That's another story. But at least for the moment. Actually, I don't think a T-34 is a good idea for this. I think probably saving up for an SU-85 or a T-3045 would be better. Because now the Germans have a ton of armor. I'm, okay, maybe you got that to fight the infantry, and then the infantry will fight the armor. We'll see how all that goes. But a good Panzer IV shot, and you can say goodbye to this guard squad. So, a nice rifle grenade, though. Pushes back the uh, lieutenant. American player just losing a ton of men trying to hold this front. Yeah, so... Good job on the Germans. Just putting a ton of pressure. And once again, just... The T-34 just doesn't have the armor to survive all those hits. We do have smoke coming down, it looks like. Okay. Not great. I mean, it's just, I, I guess, stopping them from sniping this stuff. And also, just a reminder that this player has a spotting scope. 
so we can see pretty damn far with this bombing scope so we can detect all that armor and stuff like that over there well once the smoke clears up he should be able to see but again they, they have pretty damn good distance all the way up to here so they can see the allies coming from a good you know a good long while away Conscripts desperately trying to move over left. We have the American player coming over here with a Ranger squad. Jackson now being deployed. But again, if we look at overall totals, the the Germans easily have more men. The, the, the Western Front's trying. He's doing what he can, but he can't fight two players. Although he did, de you know, kill a lot of uh, a lot of the support crews over here. So I'll give, I'll give him credit where credit's due. Guards, troops, again, what they probably, like, do you have a penal squad? You don't. Okay, I was going to say satchel might be a good idea. Like, throw a satchel on the armor or something. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, the armor is just well-positioned. And they can see the ar the enemy armor coming from a good long distance away. Yeah, and the Persian can't take a beating from three Panthers. Plus, once again, this thing provides extra bonuses. So, that's not helping. And the more veterans it gets, the more uh, special abilities it gives to its surrounding armored units. So, it's kind of just like... Uh, a domino effect where yeah while well, this thing, the more the, the better this thing gets the stronger everyone else gets which makes it better for this thing to get stronger and do more damage it's just oh boy it's just a never-ending cycle speaking of never-ending cycles uh this isn't turned to an allied slaughtering ground i'm just i'm just pointing that out and i feel like the american player has pretty much given up at this point he's lost all of his infantry um naked is now left oh wow okay cool the American player is trying, but with that AI, it's pretty much GG. Jackson fires a single shot, but yeah, it's, it's over. He has no infantry. He's, they, they've lost. Um, and we didn't even get to see a Suka bomb. Okay. But yeah, overall, um, good recon abilities on the Axis side really helped again. Um, good, I would say, the Western Front was probably superior to Lee, but Lexio was at least get, had enough of an upper hand. Oh, well, no, I'm sorry. He just dropped. Okay. But it had enough of an upper hand against the uh, naked to just throw him off. And that, like, if if it was just the American player, or if there were two American players at least that level of competence, the, the Germans would have lost. But because naked couldn't hold Legio, and Legio just slowly grinded forward. He lost a lot of men, but he slowly pushed on forward. He was able to, you know, win the battle. So overall, it's a good damage and stuff like that. Overall, Lee got more damage dealt, though I, I'm assuming that actually has to go with more of a Stug than anything else. Yeah, Stug got 85,000 damage. Uh, sorry, 8,500 damage. That's pretty damn good. Um, and then on the flip side, Lagio's cl very close, but he got more kills. And again, just kind of put in perspective, I have to probably say it's almost a Don and Volk squads. Yeah, 26 respectively. Hell, I mean, like, yeah, sure, he lost some of them, but, like, his armor also got a ton of kills. So, yeah, he was definitely killing a lot of of naked's forces and we can see that by his kd which is more negative than positive and you can say he's a soviet so that makes sense but again that does show he lost more units than he killed um western front did more damage and took more and did more and got more kills he did take a little bit more losses but he was on lee's front door for like half the game so you I have to give credit where credit's due he was definitely pushing and doing everything he possibly could but in any case, guys, that's game. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again, Legio, for submitting this replay. This has been GrayShot117, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot117. Before I go, I want to give a special shout-out to Patreon supporters Ace, Joe Foley, Joey G, JP Val, Junior Chicklist, Manuel Marcatelli, Milam, Ollie, Only Play Apples, Pyroshark, Rifle, Sebastian Marzalik, Sarge McPain, Shrieking Wookie, Tucson, White Hot D, Aaron Yee, Jordan Savat, Leo Liu, Nathan Angus, and Tim. Thank you again for your incredible support. You all rocked. It's been Grayshot17, and I'll see you all next time.